If you're a small business owner, entrepreneur, or maybe even an executive working in someone else's business, wouldn't it be nice if instead of reinventing the wheel, you just go get the wheel, plug it into your business, and get rolling, and drive sales, grow your organization? We've got a huge opportunity for you. We've been collecting best practices via webcast and podcast from successful CEOs, executives, entrepreneurs, and small business owners so that you really can learn from their successes, take their wheel, plug it into your business and organization, and get rolling today. Check out some of the recent content. Productive. So just ask, if your business isn't performing, reach out. You need somebody with different eyes to say, look, do this, this is gonna work for you. I think when you start a new company, you must have enough capital. And then when you think you have enough, you probably need more because there's always the stuff that comes up that you're not aware of. And I think the old rule of thumb was to have three months worth of capital or something to keep you going, but not in our industry, our industry, you need years worth of capital because you have to age your spirits is you got to be the spark right as as the leader of the team as the coach whatever moniker you want to put behind it uh you've got to be the spark uh you set the tone for your building and if you are negative in any way at any point the building's negative whether that's for the day the hour the year uh if you're positive in the building then the, the building's atmosphere will be positive and, and you'll make it. I need that. Uh, put the service or product over the money. Uh, in, our, in my world, it's called good medicine is good business. Uh, get good at discovering the things that you uh, don't know that you don't know. Look at the tongue twister there. But those are the things that will sink you and blindside you. Um, and the barrier of entry into real estate is extremely low. I mean, you know, you're talking, depending on your part of the country, Fifteen hundred to thirty-five hundred dollars, all in to start a profitable business. You close one home in that area, and you're in the black. What other business can you start at that? I mean, you, you run a podcast called Small Business to Grow. Do you know any other business that you can start for thirty-five hundred dollars and have one transaction be in the black? Appreciate it. Smallbusinesstogrow.com. If you'd like to learn more, subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our podcast. Swing by our website. Lots of great information from other entrepreneurs, small business owners.